Well, welcome back, everyone, to Oasis Hill Zoo. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great that you guys are joining me here today, because we're going to be doing some really fun stuff. Now, obviously, I'm recording this right after the kangaroo episode. I mean, not really obviously. Probably you guys wouldn't even have noticed if I haven't pointed it out. But today, we're just going to be doing a few things tidying around the house. Maybe we're going to build a new exhibit. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. Probably. Definitely. Yeah. I, I, I want to include an animal each episode. Uh, let's actually take some time right now to kind of figure out what we can actually do. Um, obviously, we have a lot of animals listed over here. We have a ton of aardvarks. But I really want to start by the lowest price first. I feel like that would be lowest priced oh god i can't even talk anymore lowest price first uh because i feel like that'd be just a lot easier in terms of this i've seen a lot of great suggestions and i can't i can't thank you guys enough for all of them uh, but i think we're gonna start by doing something kind of fun something kind of funky uh and then watch me choose like the most boring animal now obviously i want to keep this relatively realistic i don't want to do anything too out of the ordinary uh, obviously we're starting off as a small zoo, so I don't really want to go too crazy with like, you know, not really the, not really, <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy with the animals. I may do something like a lemur or something that's relatively common in like a roadside zoo, but I'm kind of just making our way throughout here and seeing what would really fit the bill. And I think lemurs may be it. I think we'll do kind of like two different lemur aviaries. Uh, so I think obviously we gotta go for ringtails. Let's uh, look for ringtailed lemur. And obviously I forget how to spell. Uh, ringtailed lemur. Ringtail? Oh god, where is it? I feel like it's right in front of me too. Um, red ruffed? I see red ruffed. Okay. Ringtailed. Okay, there we go. And I also want black and white ruffed, so we can go for the B. And hopefully this one shouldn't take me as long. Wow, I feel feel quite a bit silly about that. Now, lemurs do live in matriarchal societies, uh, which is very interesting to see. They actually establish dominance by urination. Uh, very interesting right there. Uh, but what I see over here are a few lemurs listed on the market uh, with the conservation credits. And I think we'll actually buy a few of those in that regard. I don't care about albinos. Okay, listen. I'm going to vent a little bit. I don't care about albinos in this game. I know you guys are probably going to be like, Oh my god, I can't wait for you to start breeding albinos. I do not want to do that stuff. That's ridiculous. Why would I care about albinos all that much? Um, just because, like, I don't know. They really don't provide any conservational value. And I just don't get why we have that in a zoo game like this. That kind of, like, advocates for, you know, genetic... Uh, prime genetic candidacy or whatever i don't really know i just think it's a little silly now already i want to establish this area for that stuff right there and i think we could actually expand this back here and we can actually include this as just a little bit of a staff building i feel like that will be something nice to have right there and it's actually level with everything else so i think we can do something kind of funky uh but for the time being we're just going to include our handy dandy doors uh, so I think I'm gonna do one kind of like right here and I'll do another one uh, let's actually bring these out a little bit more I'm gonna just have these be nice little aviaries I'm not gonna have any like open tops or anything like that I will be decorating these as best to my abilities as possible uh, and it's just gonna be two nice little aviaries for these lemurs and I just can't wait to get into that with you guys So obviously it's gonna be right there and we're gonna split it right down the middle and So I think that should be okay right there I'll actually bring that up a little bit more now. We can actually place in this door And I think for now we're actually gonna have this be like a main building uh, So we could kind of expand into that area a little bit more we have like all this area to expand for some other animals but i think that's going to be like a hard cut off maybe we could do like a parking lot or something right there i'm not entirely sure but what we should probably do we should pause and build and already i want to get started with decorating this area a little bit so already we're gonna go for mesh we're gonna go for mesh right off the bat uh just because mesh is what you would use in terms of lemur houses and stuff like that that's something that I can see would work extremely well over here. 
Uh, and there we go. We're just going to push this stuff all the way back here. Right, and we're going to start off with just this normal mesh, uh, kind of like chain link fence. Actually, you know what? No, I want to use this one. This one's it just fits the vibes a lot more. I'm going to push that back a little bit because we're going to be doing some custom ones too. So, right off the bat, I want to say that we're going to need our conservation slats. Because these guys are not climbable, that makes them extremely good for building lemur houses, makes them good for building primates and other animals that can climb, like red pandas and stuff like that. We're going to be making sure that we don't really have any escapes in here, because you know what? Escapes would be bad. Uh, so already, I want to make sure that... Uh, why is that going like that? I really can't tell. Uh, it's aligned to surface, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess it only does it like every third on there, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, but what I'm going to do is kind of start to line this up right over here. And once I do push that in right there, we will have this be all nice and set to begin working down here. I want to give this a nice base down here because... I feel like that would be just the right thing to have. Uh, and yeah, it should look pretty good in the end. I want to make sure that it's nice and cohesive with each other. So we're just going to build this up right up there. And it should be able to lock in on itself very nice. And I think I do want to change the color out over here. I think I kind of want to match that arctic wood kind of color. So if I look at this in the sun, I'll get a better judgment of that. And we'll start to establish our pallets over here. Uh, because I do want to take this into the speed build just so I can, you know, kind of zone out and work on some building for a little bit. Uh, and I will group all of that up. Uh, so if I start to rotate... Nah, oh no. Okay. So I do need to rotate this on itself over here. And that should be okay. Uh, what I don't like, however, is how it's starting to work over there but that's fine it's a simple fix uh, so there we go that's at least working for that little viewing section uh, and so oh god no it's still not working the way I want it to so I think what I might need to do I think I need to anchor it a little bit more and this is all <laughs> it's one of the struggles of a builder I still need to figure out the best way to prevent that from happening it's easily like one of my least favorite things in the game Okay, there we go. It's now anchored on a point, so that works out so much better now. And that's going to give us a nice little look into these aviaries over there. So that's just a really simple way to nail that down. And I think I'm going to continue on with this kind of theming. Uh, it's just a super, super nice, super clean way of achieving the style that I want. And I'll just duplicate it on itself down there. And it should be okay right there. Uh, and what I'm also going to do... It's just duplicate this on itself once more. I still have free build on, so I'm just going to hit the comma button, and then it's all set to go. Then I repeat it on itself a couple more times, and then we should be able to have a nice open section over here uh, of wall. And then from there, we can start to do a little bit more decorating in terms of where we really want to take that. And I think I want to have this be like a nice open aviary. Uh, not really aviary, but you guys know exactly what I mean. You guys are smart out there. Uh, I want that to be the edge of the building right there, at least. And I want that to be its own building, so I'll work on that in the speed build. I'll work on the actual habitat over here in the speed build. But I just wanted to show you guys just how I kind of, like, nailed down a palette and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm actually going to delete most of that. Because I do want to start this over once more and do some other little changes so i'll tell you what i will be leaving you guys in just a little bit let me just take care of this right over here i do want to delete that one too so hopefully i can still yeah that works all right i'll tell you what i'll leave that be and oh no hold on i want to section this up one more time i'm sorry guys i swear i will leave you soon uh, i want to section this off right here just because I feel like that's a little bit too big of a section to have right there. Alright, so I think we have that. I'll continue that on right over here. I'll continue the other one right over here. And no, that's... Okay, this game is being a little wonky for me today, and I don't necessarily like it. 
but I'm sure we can make it work somehow. Uh, so that's exactly what we have right now. Actually, you know what? Before we even get out of here, I'm going to try and do a little something. We're going to select all of this. We're actually going to... Hold on. We're going to have a little fun here, guys. Uh, I'm clicking the comma button to enable free build. And I'm going to turn this on its side just a little bit. I think I want it to be kind of like that. Then bring it up a little bit more. Then push that back just a smidge. And because of that, we should be able to kind of lighten this up a little bit more. I will align it to that surface and kind of push that back just a little bit more. That way, that's going to give us a nice beam to work off of. And then after we have that, we should be able to continue the vibes of this a little bit. I say vibes. That's... The, what, what do I mean by vibes, guys? I don't even know. But you guys can probably pick up what I'm putting down. You know, you guys can read the vibes. Uh, but I'm going to rotate this just a little bit more. Uh, keep in mind when you're working with free build, you need to have that all selected in the edit mode. Uh, but then I'm going to push that up a little bit more. Push that that way. And that should be good. That should give us like a nice slope. So what I want to do is bring that down just a little bit more. Then connect these back up to each other. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove these ones right over there. And I'm just going to do the same thing as I did before. Kind of just bringing that section over. And I'm going to do that one more time right over here. And they actually are aligned, so they shouldn't be too bad okay maybe they're just a little bit bad but that's fine um yeah it should just clip a little bit into the pavement right there but that should be good right there and now if i push this right back over here we should be good to rock and roll so i'll tell you what guys i'm gonna end the little oh, do we still have a door over there i don't think we do i'm just gonna push that back a little bit there we go all right so that should be good. <laughs> okay. I know it's not really the prettiest thing on the back. We'll be working with that section later down the line. But I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave that right there. And I'll see you guys in the actual speed build. So I'll see you there. Well, welcome to the speed build, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of live footage. But here we are. Doing two habitats. Side by side. Yeah, so I was wicked excited to do this. Um... Yeah, I just really love how this all came out, and you can see a lot of the building techniques I've started to do, like, recently around here, uh, and really expanding that kind of southwest vibe, especially with this building. We're doing a lot of different building practices that haven't made their way into this zoo yet, and the more we do that, the less we have to do later. The more we could just kind of, like, copy-paste all throughout the zoo, which is completely viable. Please don't get me wrong. It, making less work for yourself for the future is incredible doing the work right now so you don't need to do it later listen it, no procrastinators allowed do everything first and then once you're done with that it'll all start to fit in place and it'll just be all fantastic now you can see i'm starting to get the backstage for this building all set i'm not sure if i do that in the speed build or not uh but i'm really happy with it actually yeah i do end up doing it in the speed build that's awesome uh but yeah what i'm doing is utilizing free build in a way to kind of create this nice roof back here uh it's not really a themed roof we don't really need to do theming on this one since it's on the back side of the habitat uh, no guests would actually be able to see that roof, so it doesn't really matter. We could just have it be however it needs to look like, and it'll all look perfect in the end. So I'm really excited about that. So this whole facility complex is going to be where we'll have the majority of our staff buildings. We already, by the end of this episode, I think, or by the end of the next one, uh, we have like our quarantine building, we have our vet building, uh, all that stuff. But you can see me start to kind of make room for the actual eatery section right over there and what i'm doing over here i also grouped up the entire aviary into a single group and i push it out of the way so i could get a better view at all the landscaping inside the actual lemur exhibits now keep in mind we are building for black and white rough lemurs as well as ringtail lemurs from my understanding uh it may be the other way around but i think the ringtail lemurs are more so accustomed to drier environments meanwhile the black and white rough lemurs prefer a little bit more cooler, more jungly kind of environments. We don't really have the kind of environments be reflected inside the habitats just yet. 
Uh, I'm really hoping later down the line, once we actually do get more lemurs, maybe, knock on wood, if we do get, like, a Fusa in the next pack or something like that, it'd be a wonderful addition to have inside this section. Maybe we could even do, like, a Madagascar house. I feel like that would be super awesome to have. But as we make our way throughout here, you can see I'm doing the climbing frames as well. I really want to have, like, nice handmade climbing beams throughout here. I felt like that'd be just the icing on the cake over here. And it's nothing really too crazy. It fills out all their requirements, which is excellent to say. Uh, but it just looks super awesome, and I really like it. We also do a few different, like, little beams on the side of these trunks and stuff like that. It's just super awesome. Uh, I also use the dead trees. I believe these are the Ipe trees. As a way to create this kind of, like, a lot more forested, a lot more jungly aesthetic. Uh, and the Sudanese frankincense trees do the same thing as well. It's a really nice way to kind of have this area feel like it's a lot more forested than it actually is. And I also go on throughout here with a whole bunch of grass, a whole bunch of periwinkle, a whole bunch of uh, Yorkshire fog, all that kind of jazz, and help it feel a lot more planted. Uh, as I keep on saying in every single episode of the series, I really do want this area, and I want this entire zoo, really, to feel a lot more tropical than the desert that surrounds it. Like, our water bill must be out the roof right now. Uh, but, yeah, that's essentially it. And I really wanted to plant this area up a little bit more. I don't talk about this in the live section, I don't think. But I really want it to be nice, lush, planted, and all that stuff. But I really do like that. I also copy over that section over there of all those grasses. Uh, just as an easy way to bring that kind of vibe into that area and i also start work on the actual um food court over here it's not too big in fact it's relatively small but i'm pretty happy with it it's nothing really too crazy uh, i also do this little flower bed section right over here and that's the last thing that we do i think i want to say uh, i think i also set up like the food vendors and stuff like that and then we will actually get back into a live portion, and then we'll get back into a speed build portion. Again, uh, I'm just really excited about this entire zoo, guys. I really love it. So I'll tell you what, we're about to enter the live portion, and guess what? I'll see you all there. Must be so hard, boys. You know, just standing there, not doing anything. You gotta go to the staff room, I assume. Yeah, that's fine. All right, well, welcome back, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick little speed build. Uh, we got a lot done. Um, I'm very happy with these enclosures. These are all custom climbing frames, so I'm very excited about that. And we're starting to get our little guys delivered, so I'm just going to speed up time a bit more. I did start work on a holding area back here. Uh, obviously, it's not really done with the interior, and obviously the black would get... A little bit too hot so I think we're gonna throw some solar panels on top of that but all things being considered I really like this I feel like it came out super nice only thing that I kind of have a problem with is that I would like to have more uh, tiles up there uh, terracotta tiles at least but all things being said I really do like this interior uh, again all custom climbing frames I didn't want to bring in any blueprints this time around uh, but this is looking super nice, and of course our lemurs can traverse most of this stuff, uh, and they can't escape, which is the best thing. Uh, so let me just actually look at their welfare really quickly. Uh, they need less sand, so I think we could do that relatively easily. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go over with uh, the terrain tools, at least, and I'm just going to tuck in a little bit of stuff over there. I'm going to do a little bit of stuff down there too, so all their terrain is all set. It looks like they're good on space as well, which I'm very happy about. And again, over here, same thing. We're just going to blotch this up a little bit more. And they should be good after that. Awesome. So that's looking pretty good right there. Unfortunately, they still do kind of fly, but that's all right. So the intention with this habitat, at least, I should probably explain my process a little bit. Uh, the guests can come stand up here. I may put a railing up here. In fact, that's what I think I'll do. And the next speed build, we're going to be working on that stuff, but before we actually get there. Uh, you have the little trench down there so that the lemurs don't actually come up there. But you can get a good look into their habitat over here. We have four black and white rough lemurs, and we also have four ring-tailed lemurs. I kind of like the ring-tail habitat a lot more. I think it came out a lot more lush. Uh, over time, I think I will be adding, like, faux rock and stuff back there. I feel like that'll be a nice little motif to have back there eventually. 
But for the time being, I think we'll just leave those as is, except for the fence. I think I'm going to do that right now alongside with you guys because I feel like you guys would enjoy us doing this kind of stuff. Um, obviously, I don't want to use this rusted one. I feel like I just look at this rusted fence and I'm like, oh god, my hands would absolutely hate that. Whenever I like uh, use fences, I would actually like to hold onto the fence. Uh, so I think this time around, and I apologize if you hear a little bit of scratching in the background, I have a window bird feeder, and the birds kind of like just have their fun with it. Uh, so I think we're actually going to use this fence over here. It's probably one of my favorites. It's just so simple and so, uh, I'm not really sure how you would describe it. It's so useful. Yeah, useful. That's probably a good enough word to use right over there. Uh, but it's super useful and super versatile, so it fits, like, kind of wherever you throw it. And I think what we're going to do, we're just going to have one more section over there. Then we're just going to bring it over just a smidge, uh, kind of align that to, like, the true center right there. And we're also going to do the same thing around here, bring that into, like, the true center. doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be exact. I'm kind of happy with it uh, being wherever it needs to be. But there we go. That is looking pretty good right there. I really do like that. All right, that's really coming together. And I think, honestly, Marky. Marky, 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 Marky. Uh, Mark, you're going to be a wonderful key component over here. So we're actually going to tuck some of this stuff under here as a way to get a little bit more shade into the habitat. And I think we'll actually color it a nice, maybe like, lime blue i feel like that would work really well just as a way to bring in a little bit more shade and a lot more color into this exhibit because i feel like we're kind of lacking on that a little bit so i'm just gonna align these to the right kind of angle and we're just gonna duplicate them all throughout here as a way to bring in a lot more color into these habitats so getting all these guys together this is what i really like about doing like dueling habitats i guess you could kind of call it is that it's super easy just to duplicate it on itself right over there and it brings in so much more color and so much more light now over here we have a lot of work to do uh i before this episode ends i do want to get this kind of like eatery station all set uh so we'll be working on that for a little bit over here and i think for the time being i will hire two more vendors and then we will assign these guys to the entrance work zone just because um and hopefully yeah it should all be linked up and that's going to be perfect right there so we're going to kind of do the same thing over there that we did over here and by the way i did include a gift shop i heard i forgot who it was unfortunately i kind of closed the comment section uh but i did hear that the gift shop items give us a lot of money and it really shows unfortunately i think you guys still aren't able to see it but it really does give us a lot of money in the end, so I'm very excited to see all that come into play. And also going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to have these barriers right here as a way to prevent guests from kind of clipping through that area. I really don't want them to do that kind of stuff. Uh, so we do have that right over there, and that's going to be super nice. But we're going to cut over right now, and hopefully by the time that we're done, we're going to have a beautiful little um, food plaza. So I can't wait to see you guys there.
could you just imagine just having a meal over here? Well, I, I could too, except we don't really have anyone manning these stations. But regardless, this has turned out to be quite a nice little eatery spot. Now, obviously, I'm really trying to fix up our guest needs. Uh, thirst is still, still down in the dumps over there. But we're really trying to work with that. I'm really trying to figure out how best to approach that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of other things, I'm really trying to boost education. And I have to thank my buddy Forge again for helping me out with so much of this. We have all these animal talks all over the place now. So we have one in there. We should be getting a kangaroo one relatively soon. We have the one for the spied hyenas, which turned out to be a really nice spot. Uh, and we just have a lot of good vibes all around. Um, I did get a new mail for our capybara herd, so he should be able to go and do his thing with all the lovely females. I traded out all the other ma males, too. We got a new herd of prairie dogs, so that should be good right there. And it seems like we are on the up and up. Now, in case if you guys looked over this, too, uh, I have a few different centers over here, so I'm working on a little bit more research and stuff like that. So I am trying to up our prairie dog stuff over there. Uh, in terms of all the other things, too, I know our money situation has kind of been in flux recently. So I do want to make sure that we are giving these guys the proper food qualities. I'm trying to improve them across the board. Right now, as it stands, uh, we can only really do so many of them. But it's thankful that we only have, like, the um, herbivores to worry about. So the kangaroos, they don't really have that much more that they really need. So we kind of just bumped it up even more. The capybars we're still, still working on. And I think the hyenas, we should be able to throw another uh, another thing in here. Where is the gate? There it is. Alright. I love how kind of mixed this is. Uh, and then we should be able to bump that up to grade 2. I feel like that should be okay. And at least, th all that being said, we should get some happier animals. I think over here what I'm going to do, I will do a capybara talk. Just to up our education even more. And I have been adding music to all of these. I'm not really sure if it has any effect on the gameplay or whatnot. But I think we should be seeing a lot more people actually use these. Uh, no habitat. Habitat. Uh, there we go. We should be able to have the capybaras over there. We'll change that to, I don't think we have anything in June. So that should be good. We can add that to the work zone. And I think we should be okay with that. Um, Animal Talk Point is open. We can change this one to be the South America theme. Uh, we can just change it to be Chilean. Whatever that is. And I think right over here, I want to have this be nice and kind of deserty. So I'm going to add a few more palms on each side of this. Really help it kind of stick these vibes right in there. I think that's looking pretty good. I think we just need, like, a few salt wart bushes in there and just help green it up a bit more. That's looking pretty good. Let's get some capybara signs. Alright. Uh, I do want to put a nice big old capybara sign right here. Uh, we'll turn off random rotation, too, because obviously we don't really want it to be rotated all that much. And we could have our nice little baby capybaras on throughout here. I think that'll just be cute. It's nothing really too crazy. I still love that art style. It's so nice. Um, I think we'll bring these guys down a little bit more. I think that's pretty cute right there. And we can do something over here with the prairie dogs. Um, P-R-A-I-R. Still got it, baby. And we can do something like that right over here. We can have that be right on that educational sign. I feel like that's wicked cute. And I need to do that one more time. That should be good. So we can change that to be Prairie Dog. I don't know why those got disconnected. That's so weird. I hope these still got connected. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but it looks like they kind of got reset. Yeah, that's probably why we don't have that high of an education grade. It seems like these just reset themselves, which really isn't the best thing to have, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but we'll just repeat that right over here, and we can flop that guy right around and there he goes he's just sitting right up there and yeah what happened to all of these it's like they all kind of just crapped the bed all right well that's all set uh the capybara one is all set as well hopefully 
Yeah, it should be okay. I'm curious to see about the... Okay, so the hyena one is good too. I'm not sure what happened there. But still, it seems like we are doing very good. We have a big ol' happy face down there. Very happy to see that. Uh, and we're back in the green once again. We have $26,000. Seems like everyone is doing pretty good, pretty happy. Our guests have their waters, our guests have their tacos. What more could you ask for? It seems like a very happy time all around. I'm gonna add a few benches over here too. I feel like we can kind of do something like that. Really just give these places enough... Give these guests enough places to sit. I feel like that's kind of necessary. Uh, and yeah, that should be good. I'm not sure if I want to do anything with this lake. I feel like getting some animals in there, maybe like flamingos on this little beach, might be cool. So that way they could actually look into there. But I'm not entirely sure. I want to see how these stalls are doing. Seems like their guest happiness really isn't. I need the loo. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, seems like the prices are doing okay. You know, why are your expenses like so bad why okay nevertheless that's doing pretty good i think i do want like a kitchen so do we have like a grill over here uh kind of like a broken one grilled tomato oh that's uh that's our buddies um do i have like a uh, what do you call that stove kitchen let's see if they have like any kitchen pieces all right they do have some so i think we can actually have this be a nice little set piece back here. I think I did something like this kind of for uh, Sugar Pine, uh, except it was a little bit different, but should be okay. I think I do want to get rid of some of this stuff. I feel like that's a little too tall for what we're doing over here. Um, I think I will get rid of everything except for some of that stuff. I only want this really over here. Um, then we can remove that, remove that. I think we could double this on itself. And it should be okay. So I'm just going to flip that right over there. And honestly, for the time being, don't let anyone know, but I'm not going to put it back on there just for now. Uh, once we actually do start expanding out into that area, I'll start to add a little back onto that. But for the time being, I just want to leave this as it is, as it comes. And we can kind of do something like that. And a little something like that. And that should at least give us, like... A little bit more purpose over here at least I think that's pretty nice uh, and later down the line I'm sure we can kind of do a little bit more dressing up on that little area but that is about it for today's episode I'm really happy with these lemurs they turn out to be pretty pretty good inhabitants over here and it seems like we kind of fixed all the issues of the uh, ringtail welfare it seems like they're doing pretty good still a little bit more research that needs to be done for them so I will be looking into that a lot more we do need to do a lot more research over here, but we will get to that eventually. Nonetheless, guys, I'm so happy that you guys were able to stop by and check this out. It's because we didn't have that on there. That's great. Uh, but still, our money's going down right now, but we'll fix that up in just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll end it with the little keeper talk over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now. Thank you.